Yo, if this is true, this is going to be quite big. Alright, so... Let's have a look, let's have a look. So Nintendo and the Pokemon Company is suing uh, Pocket Pair Inc. Which is the developers of PAL World. Okay. Oh, it's specifically in Tokyo and Japan. These both, com both companies are from Japan, right? I remember the PAL World developer, I think the Pocket Pair Inc. It's also from Japan. So yeah, uh, I, I think this is going to be a very, very big deal. So if... If... Nintendo wins... So, I, I think this is going to be bigger than a lot of people think, right? Because here's here's how I, here's how I look at it. If Pokemon wins, if Nintendo wants, uh, if Nintendo actually wins this lawsuit, that means a lot of other IPs are going to be more careful to not... They are going to try to not copy Pokemon. But if Nintendo lost, if Power World or Pocket Pair Inc. actually won, that means a lot of people are going to be, a lot of game uh, developers, a lot of companies are going to be more open to trying out the concept of Pokemon, right? Now, this is going to affect one game that everyone here loves and everyone here is looking forward to. And do you guys know what game that is? Can anybody guess what game that is? Anyone, anyone can guess? It's a game that has Pokemon in it or like uh, some sort of creature, creature in it. It's a game that has a little bit of, uh, you know, concept similarity with Pokemon that everybody has been looking forward to. Yes, Azul Promelia. Right, so if Power World actually loses, there's a chance that Azul Promelia might need to change the structure of the game because uh, it also has a little bit of concept of... Although the f game focuses more on waifus and lollies, look at this lolly, kawaii. Pei Pei. Kawaii. Alright. Wow. People who say that Nintendo won Super Power World are now look like a clown. Yeah, but why did it took them so long? I guess the um, Azul Promelia doesn't have similar looking animals though. Yeah, I, I think it, it's not about similar, but I think it just scares company, right? Because like I think you just get scared because you do you just don't want to deal with this kind of lawsuit is like generally just um very finicky to deal with and you just want to make a game you just want to earn money if like companies sue each other like you are losing money you have to like hire lawyers you have to try to battle against this you you either don't want to deal with that if you can right ideally you want to avoid like i think most companies want to make money they don't want to like fight each other and try to sue each other for uh so-called damages or trying to lose money uh yeah there's that right those are the factors so let's see um so Nintendo, and then we got, uh, this is going to be Pokemon, definitely. And then Power World. Okay, so you can see the lawsuit claims Power World uh, infringed multiple Pokemon patents and six damages. Okay, let's see, uh, we also have the access to the article right here. Everything we know about the lawsuit. Okay. So what is it going to be all about, right? Uh... Nintendo and the Pokemon Company, okay, infringement lawsuit. Nintendo and the Pokemon Company have filed a patent uh, infringement lawsuit against Pocket Pair, creators of Power World, seeking compensation for damages. I wonder how much do they expect, right? So on January 24th, the height of Power World's hype. To be fair, Power World is no longer hype, to be fair. I wonder why they didn't sue them back then, when the game was like super omega hype. Uh, if I go to like Steam, right, right now, let me check. I know like back then when it first came out, uh, let me see if I can find the entire PAL world on Steam. So you can see right here, uh, what's the website again? Steam DB, right? Okay, so uh, I feel like when it first came out, that was like at least six, seven months ago. So it peaked at two million players. Like look at this, eight months ago, eight months ago, Powell has almost two point one million players on Steam. Right now, it barely has fifteen thousand to sixteen thousand players. So the game is like, I guess I wouldn't use the word dying because the game is supposed to be much more of a single player, right? Is Powell a single player or a multiplayer? I actually never played it, but I'm guessing it's much more of a single player. Is it has lost its hype? The hype was back then when it first came out months ago. And definitely like the developers probably already made plenty of money already. 
So that was back then, right? The Pokemon company addressed accusations of the game copying Pokemon. Seeing it intended to investigate the new release bearing a striking resemblance to its own franchise. <coughs> so the CEO of Nintendo, Shuntero Furukawa, also responded to concerns of Power World infringing on its IP, promising they would not hesitate to protect their series. However, Furukawa did not mention Pocket Pen or Power World by name, merely generalizing. In the months that followed, Power World's director confirmed they haven't heard anything from Nintendo's camp. That all changed on September 19th, which was one day ago, yesterday. Nintendo and the Pokemon company announced they have jointly filed a patent infringement lawsuit against Pocket Pair. So what took them so long to do this, right? Like, to be able to sue a company, why they need like at least 8 months to do that? Why didn't they just do it immediately when it first came out? They waited so long. It's a bit weird, right? I wonder, like, is it like they discuss with the lawyers and try to be like, hmm, is it worth suing this? Can we get some, uh, you know, how much can we get in return, right? I think they're trying to calculate and see if it's actually worth pursuing this or not. So this was the right one is Pokemon. I believe the left one is a character that looks like Lucario or something. Okay. So far a day prior on September 18 in Tokyo District Court, the suit seeks compensation for damages that pocket pair allegedly caused as a result of their infringement of the Pokemon IP. This lawsuit seeks an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on the ground that PAL World, a game developed by the defendant, infringe multiple patent rights, Nintendo wrote in its press release. As for the specific patents uh, PAL World's developers have infringed on, it is unclear as Nintendo nor the Pokemon company has spoken further on the matter. There's also no publicly available copy of the lawsuit at the time of me writing. So there's up to 25 patents uh, filed together as assignees. This is far from the first joint lawsuit. Nintendo will continue to take necessary actions against any infringement of its intellectual property rights, including the brand itself. Okay, To protect the intellectual properties, it has worked hard to establish over the years. So there's no response, is it? Uh, Baki, global committee manager for Pocket Pair, was the first to respond in a now deleted tweet. It's just a smiley face. <coughs> okay. So they called the lawsuit truly unfortunate in a tweet and thank players for the overwhelming response when the game released. Okay, so we'll, we'll try to follow up with this, right? I'm actually curious who will actually win in this particular lawsuit. But for now, yeah, uh, I think this is going to set a big precedent if either Nintendo wins or Nintendo loses, it's going to be a, a very big deal for either one of the parties, right? <coughs>